geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... Metamorphic rocks. The term metamorphic can be split into two parts, from the ancient Greek of meta, meaning to change, and morph, meaning form, giving us the modern term of metamorphic rock to mean an older rock, such as an igneous rock, or a sedimentary rock, or a metamorphic rock, that has changed due to the effects of increasing heat and increasing pressure. Metamorphic rocks can be divided into two main types, being foliated and non-foliated. Foliated comes from the ancient Greek of folium, meaning leaf, which are sheet-like planar structures which give us the foliation. If we take these older original rocks, which we call the protolith, if we apply pressure to the rocks, they are squeezed together and compressed, so squashing and changing the original rock, giving it a foliation, such as we can see in this sample of slate, which may have been formed from sedimentary mudstone or shale, composed of layers of sediment that have built up, which, over time, are compressed under pressure and greater heat, forming slate. This sample having been formed by the compression from above and below like this. So we have our protolith, the sedimentary mudstone, which over time is metamorphosed by pressure and heat to make slate. If we then further compress our slate and heat it to greater temperatures, schist is formed. Schist is more compact than slate, and if we study it more closely, we see the crystals are larger than in slate, and align perpendicular to the direction of compression, giving us a foliation called schistosity. So with more metamorphism, our slate is metamorphosed into schist. If we then further compress our schist, with greater pressure and greater temperatures too, this rock is formed, pronounced nice. The schist is metamorphosed by the greater temperature, and not just pressure from above and below, but pressure from all angles, often giving the gneiss a banded appearance, as these two samples of gneiss demonstrate. So with further metamorphism, our schist is metamorphosed into gneiss, this displaying a banded texture. That's amazing! Our two types of metamorphic rocks, one being foliated, and the other is non-foliated, Non-foliated meaning there is no foliation in the rock. Take this sedimentary limestone for example. It's made of sediments, such as mud and sand. These deposited in layers, the rock being quite soft and probably has fossils in it. When we take our limestone and compress it with heat too, our limestone gradually metamorphoses to marble. The marble being crystalline with no fossils remaining as they were destroyed during metamorphism. The sedimentary rock sandstone, when metamorphosed by heat and pressure, gradually metamorphoses to quartzite, this also now crystalline, with no fossils remaining in it. Wow! In summary, metamorphic rocks can be divided into two groups, being foliated and non-foliated. The foliated rocks, such as mudstone, being metamorphosed into slate, then into schist, and then into highly metamorphosed gneiss. The non-foliated metamorphic rocks include the original limestone being metamorphosed into marble and sandstone into quartzite. Please do watch our Jolly and Jeffy videos about slate and marble. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!